Today we're going to be looking at the Inkbird Wi-Fi heater controller. Whilst I open this up, I will explain briefly uh, why we use these temperature controllers. So, heaters are one of the top reasons for tank crashes. Um, if you've got a heater thermostat that's broken and it's stuck on, uh, it's going to cook your tank. And the other way, if, you're, uh, if your heater's broken and um, it's not heating the tank, your, uh, your corals and your fish are, are most likely going to die. Um, so, the heater controller is just basically an added layer of protection for just in case that um, heater fails for any reason be it the thermostat that fails or the, uh, the heater that fully fails. Um, so yeah, in the box we've got the, uh, the temperature controller, it's all one unit. You've got the temperature controller itself, you've got the, let me spin this round, you've got the probe on this end, so that's the thermometer, uh, the temperature probe, power, and you've got the, um, the power bar. So basically what this does is it takes control of your heater. Uh, it eliminates the, uh, the thermostat within your heater and this takes over. If your tank gets too warm or too cold, there's an audible alarm on this system uh, that will notify you if, uh, if your temperature range, if your temperature is, is well out of range. Because this is a Wi-Fi model as well, it also does push notifications via the app. So, well, I'm going to power this on. Uh, we'll set it up. I'll go briefly through how we set, the, set it up. I'm not going to go through the Wi-Fi method, I'm just going to go through the, uh, the controller method. Um, I've got a lot of stuff connected to my Wi-Fi at the moment, and I really need to get it sorted before I add anything else uh, to my existing Wi-Fi. So we'll set this up, and um, yeah, let's get going. Right, I have plugged the unit in. Now let's get this set up. So you wanna, you're going to want to hold set to get into your settings. So T5 is the desired temperature. I keep all of my tanks at 25.3 degrees. Um, so we'll keep it at 25.3 degrees. No point in changing that. So HD is heating difference. Uh, this is when you want the heater to kick on. So I want my heater to kick on if the tank falls below 0.3 degrees. So because my desired temperature is 25.3 degrees, if the temperature hits 25 degrees or below, the heater is going to come on and it's going to come on until it hits 25.3 degrees. CD is cooling difference. I want the cooling side of the, the unit to come on when it hits 25.6 degrees, which is 0.3 degrees above my desired temperature. AH is alarm high. This is when you when you want the alarm to sound. I'm not going to set this just yet. I will set it at the end of the video and you will hear the alarm sound. Uh, you've got alarm high, so you can set it up to a... If your tank hits a certain temperature, it will sound the alarm. And you've also got alarm low. If your temp temperature falls below a certain temperature, it will also sound the alarm. I'm not going to put that on now because it's quite noisy and... Uh, I won't be able to talk over for the rest of the video. Uh, PT is when the tank needs to cool down, you can set an, it's, it's a basically a delay for when the fans come on. So my cooling side is gonna come on at 25.6 degrees, but if it hits 25.6 degrees and I wanted to give it say two minutes uh, before the cooling starts coming on, I could set a two minute delay for that cooling to come on. I don't wanna do that. I wanna. As soon as it hits 25.6 degrees, I want it to start cooling my tank. So we'll go set. Uh, CA is calibration. You can calibrate the probe. Um, if you've got, I don't know how you'd honestly calibrate the probe, but I mean, I, I suppose I could do it with my Profilux 4, because uh, that's got a lab grade temperature probe, uh, but not many people have access to that. So I assume you could do it with a, a, an old school mercury thermometer and uh, calibrate it that way. Uh, so we'll leave that be for the time being. And CF is just uh, Celsius or Fahrenheit I'm in the UK, so I set it at Celsius. So we'll just carry on where we are. That's all, that's all of the settings done. So we'll hold down the set button, and that is fully set. As you can see, my desired temperature is 25.3 degrees, and because it's 22.9 or 23 degrees in this room, the heating side has come on. And let me grab the end of the probe. And if I was to grab the end of the probe and warm it up, it will slowly bring the tank, the temperature 
of the, the probe above 25.3 degrees and the cooling side should come on at any moment. We're at 25.1, 25.2. There we go, because it's hit 25, because it's hit 26 degrees, the cooling side of this unit has now come on. So if I actually, if I keep holding this and I get it above, I think we set it at 28 degrees, the alarm should sound. There we go. And because it's hit above 28 degrees, which is what we set the alarm to, uh, the alarm is now sounding and it won't shut off until it goes below 28. So let me unplug the unit because that's gonna do my head in. So there we go, that is the Inkbird um, Wi-Fi temperature controller. It was only a brief video. Um, I've used these units uh, for years and years on uh, a few of my previous tanks. I since moved over to the D&D &D, uh, temp temperature controllers, but th because this one's got Wi-Fi in it, I am gonna keep using this one. I've actually got plans to use this in a, uh, in a future project, that's why I've got it. Um, Inkbird did contact me and they've actually agreed to, um, to give me some discount codes. So if you're looking to pick one of these units up yourself, um, I'll pop some discount codes down in the description and also in the comments. Um, they're not affiliate links or anything like that. I don't get any kickbacks from it. They were just kind enough to, uh, to send out some discount codes. So if you like, are looking to pick one of these up, uh, you can do at a discounted rate. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you're enjoying the content, please do like, please do subscribe. And I will catch you next week, guys.